Hello everyone, my name is Cristian Negulescu and you know me for a lot of integration with UiPath, with Salesforce service now, Jira, Confluence and so on. Um, today we'll talk about uh, service now. I put an update on service now. You will see that you'll find two, 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 uh, 289. And on this update, you will see that I add some uh, new features. Uh, let's uh, see it. So first, um, the first uh, feature is um, you will have for the um, uh, for uh, uh, the read, uh, you'll have a new request item. So for the request item, you will have add, delete, get, and update dedicated features. Yeah, because a lot of you work with the request item. I create this dedicated feature, dedicated activities. Also, you will have uh, updates for the um, send uh, JSON. So you will have uh, send JSON to endpoint and send JSON to a table. They are a little bit different. They are more like Salesforce. And here you will be able to send also the full command. Yeah. So you will put a command like this with all the uh, table incident with all the link. Yeah. You can do a full command. Now, next, what will what will uh, will have on the next update? Not on this one. Ser uh, on service now, what I implement until now, it's table API. And a lot of you work with uh, catalogs and um, uh, items from catalogs. So I will implement also serv uh, service catalog API. And I will come with a set of uh, 20 function of this for you to facilitate working with catalogs and items, yeah? But we'll see this on the future. Uh, next one that I want to talk, it's about uh, proxy. So some of you who work with the proxy have the proxy connection to service now, like on Salesforce. So this one has uh, a proxy configuration. Yeah, and more details about this uh, proxy configuration you can find on my YouTube here on proxy configuration. Yeah, on this proxy configuration I talk how you configure proxy normally for your iPad and how you configure dedicated proxy for the the service now connector. Salesforce connector, but the same on the service now. Now, the last thing is, I have some questions. How I get incident? So how I get um, um, comments from an incident? Yeah, comments from incident and um, uh, also uh, for the problems. So I have here an incident with uh, some comments, and you see I have comment one, comment two, comment three. Or work notes, yeah, work notes. So to be able to get this stuff, you need to to do these steps. You will go and select your incident, yeah. So I select my incident and uh, uh, let's uh, let's check my incident. So that one, the, my incident was. Um, uh, let's check. So my incident was number uh, this one, yeah. Okay, so I will go and um, uh, select, I say, I want the system ID, system ID and I let, let the number, where the, uh, where number, number it's this one, yeah? So this one, if I run it, I will get my, uh, my system ID. With the system ID, I need to go to, oh, let's have here, With the system ID, I need to go to another table. So the table is called uh, sysjourn files. Yeah. So I will go here and I will say I want the data from sysjourn files. Yeah. And I want element ID. So element ID equal with. with uh, my idea okay and now i will want here on the um, on the selection i want the elements from there let's go here and say journal system journal filed and I want when it was created, the name, the value that was be the element, the element history, and uh, and so on. So I have here all this stuff, 
Yeah, let's see. And you see, oh, it's on the element. This is one when it's created. So it was created. And this one is it's the element. If it's an org node, it's a comment, uh, who created uh, that admin. In my case, I, I'm admin on that, on that stuff, yeah? So in this way, I get all my comments. So remember, you need to, uh, and for the problem is the same. You put the idea of the problem here, element idea as an idea of the problem, and you go get all the work nodes. So you put your incident, you get the, uh, if it's necessary, uh, maybe I will do a an, um, an, uh, dedicated activity for this to get them um, inside of the incident and the problems to get uh, the comments but um, this is the the way how you do it yeah so you get the incident you'll um, you select it and so on yeah and uh, uh, this is the idea okay thank you very much for watching and uh, like i said i will have a new video that uh, i will show you how to i will create this activities for service catalog, yeah, to work with, uh, with elements. Remember to follow me on the YouTube and find more um, videos about um, integration automation with UAPAT. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Stay safe. Bye-bye. Uh,